So recently I haven't been posting as much as I usually do. So I got this comment from Daisy Fields. I was fitting to ask if you were okay. Haven't heard from you in a while. And then you pop up in my to watch. Cool. But are you okay? How are things? Thank you for asking this question. I appreciate it. Yes, I'm doing okay. Uh, one of the reasons why I haven't been posting recently is because I have a few other projects on the go. And um, one of those projects is the Shepherd of Hermas audiobook. It is a very large book, uh, relatively speaking. Uh, I mean, I've done six hours of recording. And so I've been editing this recording and it's been a few months now. So I've been really busy doing this. And the Shepherd of Hermas, I'm very excited about this because the Shepherd of Hermas is just nothing short of gold. For those of you who are not familiar with the Shepherd of Hermas, it is a book written way back in the late first century, early second century, depending on which scholars you talk to. And it was included in the oldest Bible we have, okay? The, the oldest Bible in the world, the Codex Sinaiticus, had the Shepherd of Hermas in the New Testament. And it's very unfortunate the Bibles are printed anymore without the Shepherd of Hermas. In my opinion, the Shepherd of Hermas should be included in the Bible. In fact, it should be held above the letters of Paul. It is an extraordinary book. So I have been recording this book and I have been editing this book. Initially, it was my plan to record and edit this entire book and release this entire book as one video on YouTube. Now here's my question to you. The Shepherd of Hermas consists of actually three books. I'm recording them all together and I wanna release them all together as one recording so that you can put this recording on and you can just let it play and you can listen while you're doing other things. Maybe you wanna put it on when you sleep or something like that. So it's a very long book. Now I can release it in parts, you know, like book one, book two, book three. That's kind of cutting it up a little bit. Initially, I didn't want to do that. Let me know what you think. Should I release it as parts or just put it all in one or maybe both? Now, if you want me to release it in parts, I can start releasing it now. I can, I can do the first book right away. And then I can release the subsequent books as I get them edited. So let me know in the comments. And another reason why I haven't been posting so much on YouTube is because I've been posting on other platforms, but I also believe in not putting all of my eggs in one basket, especially considering how YouTube is going these days. So check out the links in the description as to the other platforms I have been posting on. And by all means, check out my blog, ChristopherEnoch.org, and bookmark that blog. Check it every once in a while to see what's new there. If all else fails, that hopefully will still be running. In the meantime, I'm going to be posting as much as I can on YouTube. And I'm going to end with a request, and that is to please keep me in your prayers. God bless.